Yo, it's your boy, Jonathan Belcher, coming to you with another video. Right, I was just hanging out. I'm feeling good today. And as you can see, I got on my Tupac shirt. You know what I mean? Rest in peace to Tupac, the legendary GOAT. One of the greatest of all time. You know, I love what he stood for. I love what he represented. And that's why I felt like wearing my Tupac shirt today. And I feel like it's fitting for what I'm going to talk about in this video. Uh, so we're going to talk about the art of not giving up. Right? We're going to talk about the art of not giving a F. And why is that empowering to you? Now, when I say not giving up, a, you know, F-U-C-K, right? When I say that, I don't mean in the way where you're, where you don't care about other people's feelings. I don't mean in the way where you're looking to hurt people or do or have malicious intent. I mean not giving up in a way where you get to move forward and in line with your purpose without any distractions, without anybody talking you out of your position, without anybody saying anything that can basically tamper with your spirit, right? Because a lot of times we have gifts and we have talents within us. And if you have a gift and a talent and you have something that's been calling your name for a long time, maybe it's a business idea, maybe it's something that you want to go for that you've been second guessing yourself with. Maybe you've been thinking about dealing with somebody that you, that maybe you're, you feel like your family's going to criticize you if you're going to deal with this person. But your heart is telling you to go that way. Right now, if you're constantly worrying about what other people think, how are you going to be able to live a life that you're happy with? You know what I'm saying? And one thing that I learned about not giving up and being yourself, right? And I got to do this. I'm going to just, I'm going to not say the F word, right? One thing I learned about being yourself and doing what your heart desires is that when you're yourself, you're going to attract the people that really love you for you. You're going to attract the people that are really there for you and those who really want to be around you and support you. So you're gonna build something genuine around your personality. You're gonna build something genuine around who you are and what you represent. And that's important, right? Because a lot of times there are people putting on a show and they're trying to be something that they're not. You know what I'm saying? And if you're trying to be something that you're not, eventually at some point or another, that's gonna expose you. And what everybody thought you were, they're gonna see that you're not that and it's not gonna be a good thing for what, anything that you're doing, right? So. Don't feel bad when you're on a path and you're making decisions that people may, may not necessarily be happy with. You know, you got to do what's best for you at the end of the day. And that doesn't mean to be selfish, right? But that just means to understand that you have something inside of you. And there's a reason why there's a calling. There's a reason why something's pulling you in a certain direction, you know? And sometimes we, we can't explain to other people the feelings that we have within ourselves. And if even if we can explain, sometimes... The people out there, they're not at a level of understanding to even understand what we're talking about. So we go through life being misunderstood. But what I want you to know is sometimes it's okay to be misunderstood as long as you're secure in your position. As long as you know why you're on the path that you're on. As long as you know why you're making the decisions that you're making. And you have very pure and good intention as you're taking action. You're going to be okay. But you can't be worrying about what he thinks and what she thinks and what this person has to say. And what that person believes and what this person opinion is because at the end of the day you know the saying assholes are, what, what's the saying opinions are like assholes because everybody got them right opinions are like assholes because everybody got them and everybody has something to say at some point or another whether you're doing great in life whether you're not doing so great in your life whether you're choosing the path you want to be on or whether you're letting somebody else choose the path for you somebody will always have something to say so if you're constantly listening to the bicker and the noise going on right What's going to happen is you're going to be led in totally different directions that's going to take away your energy, it's going to diminish your energy and keep you away from your de your designated purpose, right? So that's very 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 important. I wish I would I wish I would have knew this early on in the game, right? I wish I would have known to just believe from my heart and just be myself without fearing criticism, without fearing what somebody else has to say because to be honest with you, a lot of people uh do things out of the fear of what another person would think and not because of what they truly want to do on the inside and in some ways that may be good and in a lot of ways that's not good right for example I'm not gonna just go out there and go shoot somebody in the head you get what I'm saying like and of course obviously I'm gonna worry about what society has to think right because I'm gonna you know because something bad is gonna happen to me if I do that right I'm not gonna have my freedom if I do that but at the same time I don't need anybody 
It's not about what somebody's gonna think if I did that. It's about how I feel on the inside. I don't wanna hurt somebody for no reason, so I wouldn't do that just naturally. You get what I'm saying? So the point of this is, is and if you know anything about Tupac, right? You know anything about Tupac, uh, a very misunderstood uh, rap artist, entrepreneur, uh, actor, um, philanthropist, activist, very, very misunderstood. And in his life, right, he received a lot of opposition, but look at how we hold him up today. Look at how legendary he is today. Look at how much we call him the GOAT and we say he's the greatest of all time. We love what he had to talk about. We loved his passion. We loved his drive. We loved his vision. You get what I'm saying? So it's like sometimes you got to reflect and ask yourself, hey, yo, what what am I doing this for? Who am I doing this for? You know, is it for somebody else? Is it for, is it for myself? Because at the end of the day, no matter what you're doing, there's nothing wrong with being yourself. There's nothing wrong, even if you're kind of weird. Like me, I'm kind of weird in certain ways. You know, I wouldn't consider myself a weirdo, but I'm kind of weird in certain ways, especially, you know, in my alone time and when I get around certain people, I could be weird sometimes, but at the end of the day, it's me. At the end of the day, I'm being true to myself. At the end of the day, I'm being true to my vision and my energy because I'm one of those people, I just pick up on energy very easily. I pick up on people's uh, motives and I pick up on pe pe people's intent and I know when a person's being pure. And so a lot of times I know when a person's being deceitful, most times, you get what I'm saying? So with that, from that experience in my life, I realized that, look, nobody really has all the answers out there. Nobody really has it all figured out. And there's beauty in that. There's an empowering message in that that you can use and take with you for the rest of your life that's gonna empower you to be great, to step into your power now. You get what I'm saying? Like, why would I worry about what the next person has to say, what the next person thinks, when I know what I'm doing is for the best intention, not only for me, but for the loved ones around me. And for those of people out there who I don't even know. If I know I'm doing something for a great intention and to help people for the greater good, to help society in a positive way, why would I have to worry about what a hater has to say? Why do I have to worry about what a critic has to say? Why should I worry about what somebody who's doubting me has to say? I shouldn't worry about that. You get what I'm saying? Because a lot of times, you know what I'm saying? I heard a saying one time from a seven-figure earner. And he said, uh, a dog never barks at a parked car. A dog doesn't bark at a parked car. What does that mean? Well, what that means is that basically something has to be moving in order for a dog to bark at it. In other words, something has to matter to some degree in order for a dog to bark at it. You know, so don't get so down and out in yourself when you're receiving criticism uh, for something that's in your heart that you really want to do that's not hurting other people, that's not negatively affecting other people. If you truly, genuinely feel for the feelings of other people and you're doing something in line understanding that, you have nothing to worry about. You know, and especially if you're sharing value with the world, especially if you're sharing a message with the world that's powerful, then who can come against that? Who really can hate on that? Who really can try to knock you off of your game? Nobody. And if somebody is trying to knock you off your game, I don't think it says a lot about you. I think it says a lot about them. So I just want to make this video, this quick video, uh, you know, something to think about, you know, something to think about. And if you don't know anything about Tupac, I highly recommend you check out Tupac, check out his interviews and you check out his life and you check out uh you know what he's been through his music and stuff like that because you'll get a lot of that sentiment of what i'm talking about a person who really doesn't give a fuck about what nobody has to say but at the end of the day it's with good intention it's with pure intent you know what i'm saying and that's not about and what i'm saying here is not a, nothing about being a perfect individual it's not about perfection it's not about perfection it's about learning and growing and getting better and better at your pace because at the end of the day, no man is perfect. No man is perfect. But the goal is to keep going and striving for perfection in your spirit so that you're secure with yourself. When you're secure with yourself and you're secure with the decisions you make, no man or woman can come against that. You know, and even if they try to, it's cool, but you're gonna get to a point of spiritual security to such spiritual security to where even when a critic criticizes you, even when a hater hates on you, even when a doubter doubts you, you're gonna be able to tune it out of your mind. You're gonna be able to tune it out and it's not even gonna affect you on the inside because it's not about what's going on on the outside world, right? That's not what it's about. It's not about what's going on externally. It's about what's going on internally because if you get the things that's going on internally as far as the way you're thinking, 
the way you're feeling, your emotions, and you got that stuff in check, self-control, and you got that stuff in check, you've mastered the art. You've mastered the art. So there's no reason to really give up what nobody has to think, what nobody has to say, and what nobody, how anybody really feels because you're being true. And that's very, very important if you're trying to have a lot of success in life, if you're trying to grow a business, if you're trying to grow a genuine fan base and a network a audience of people, when you're true to yourself, those people who are true to you are going to come to you. So this is Jonathan Belcher. I'm going to see you later. And if you got value from this video, if you like this video, please share it with at least five you know, friends or family or anybody that you know. Share it with at least five people and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you at the top. In the description of this video, you can hit me up on Facebook and stuff like that. Also, I think uh, my Instagram, not I think, I know my Instagram is also there as well if you want to follow me. Peace.